and the just to death. Now then, since you saw her so clearly, tell me what tree you saw them lying under. He replied, under a mastic tree. Daniel said, true enough, your lie recoils on your own head. The angel of God has already received your sentence from him and will slash you in half. He dismissed the man, ordered the other to be brought, and said to him, Spawn of Canaan, not of Judah, beauty has seduced you. Lust has led your heart astray. This is how you have been behaving with the daughters of Israel. And they were too frightened to resist. But here is the daughter of Judah, who could not stomach your wickedness. Now then, tell me, what tree you surprised them under? He replied, under a home oak. Daniel said, true enough, your life requires on your own head. The angel of God is waiting with a sword to drive home and split you and destroy the pair of you. Then the whole assembly shouted, blessing God, the savior of those who trust in him. And they turned on the two elders whom Daniel had convicted of false evidence out of their own mouths. As prescribed in the law of Moses, they sentenced them to the same punishment as they had intended to inflict on their neighbor. They put them to death. The life of an innocent woman was spared that day. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord. This song. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. Can you speak? If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures, where he gives me repose. Near the restful waters he leads me. To revive my drooping spirit, your response? If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil will I fear. He guides me along the right path. He is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there with your fruit and your star. With these you give me comfort. Your response? If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil will I fear. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. Your response? If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil will I fear. Surely, goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. Your response? I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil will I fear. Kindly stand up for the gospel acclamation. Glory to you, O Christ. You are the word of God. Now is the favorable time. This is the day of salvation. Glory to you, O Christ. You are the word of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel. According to John, According to you, o Lord. Jesus said to the people, I am the light of the world. Anyone who follows me will not be walking in the dark. He will have the light of life. At this, the Pharisees said to him, You are testifying on your own behalf. Your testimony is not valid. Jesus replied, It is true that I am testifying on my own behalf, but my testimony is still valid because I know where I came from and where I am going. But you do not know where I come from and where I am going. You judge by human standards. I judge no one. But if I judge, my judgment will be sound because I am not alone. The one who sent me is with me, and in your law it is written, 
that the testimony of two witnesses is valid. I am, I may be testifying on my own behalf, but the Father who sent me is my witness too. They asked him, where is your father? Jesus answered, you do not know me, nor do you know my father. If you did know me, you would know my father as well. He spoke these words in the treasury while teaching in the temple. No one arrested him because his time had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the whole conversation that Jesus is having with the Pharisees and the Jewish leaders centers on Jesus' identity and mission. The context that is presented in the Gospel of today is the Jewish festival of the Tabernacles, commemorating the fact that the Lord had guided and saved the Israelites in the desert. One of the important ceremonies that happens during this festival is the illumination of the Jerusalem temple. It is said by Bible scholars that there were these four huge torches within the precincts of the Jerusalem temple. And when these torches were lit, its light would fall on every courtyard around Jerusalem. Everyone knew that after some time, this light would flicker and die. Against this scene, Jesus proclaims boldly, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but he will have the light of life. What does Jesus mean when he says this statement or when he makes this statement? He means two things. Firstly, he wants to show his relationship with the Father. All that Jesus says and does is from the Father is what the Father tells Jesus to do. His preaching and teaching authority, his power to forgive sins, his power to bless and to heal are all derived from the Father. In other words, His Father is Jesus' witness and this is what Jesus is trying to tell those gathered around. Secondly, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is the light that invites others to follow Him. When we accept Jesus as the light, we are assured of His continual presence among us. In the Old Testament, in Exodus chapter 13, verse 21, we are told how the Lord led the people of Israel as a pillar of cloud during the day when they were walking and as a pillar of fire during the night to be their light. Or again in the New Testament, in Matthew chapter 28, verse says 19 and 20, Jesus tells his disciples, I am with you always till the end of the age. God's presence is there with us continually. When we accept Jesus as light, we are not only assured of God's presence, but we are also assured of God's protection. We see this in the first reading of today. Susanna is saved by the wisdom of God through the prophet Daniel who gives her justice. The psalmist today says the same thing. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord comforts us. The Lord is there with his crook and with his staff. God's presence and God's protection is always with us. When we accept Jesus and when we follow Jesus as the light, we are also assured of His guidance. The Lord is our light. He shows us the way. 
He makes us his own. My dear brothers and sisters, we are tossed with trials and difficulties and temptations in our life. But when we have our eyes fixed on him, he shows us the way. He is our light which leads us to the Father. My dear brothers and sisters, assured of God's constant presence, assured of God's constant guidance and protection, let us make Jesus the center of our life. Let us make Jesus our true light. And for this place, let us pray during this Eucharistic celebration. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We will accept the sacrifice and your hands for the praise and glory of His name. Our Lord, and Lord of His holy church. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that preparing to celebrate the holy mysteries, we may bring before you as the fruit of bodily penance a joyful purity of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth. holy indeed, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your name, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Philip Neri our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, the Master.